this is a show where people can earn money if they can keep from laughing. And here's the gentleman who's going to create the laughs for us tonight, our comedy guest stars, and they are Mr. Bruce Baum. Bruce! Hey! Hey, you're really dressed up. And from New York, Mr. Lenny Rush! Just one moment against our fabulous contestants, as well as our celebrity contestant, who will be playing for big prizes and one of the lucky people in the audience. And our celebrity contestant tonight, ladies and gentlemen, is one of the co-stars of Eight Is Enough, and his name is Adam Rich. And that's who we've got. Tonight. And here's how we here's how we play the game. Now, each of our contestants faces three comedians one at a time for 60 seconds. They're in one dollar per second. They don't laugh. If they last the full three minutes, we double the money. Our contestants are in the studio audience. You know how it works. I've got the cards in my hand. Let's see who's going to come first. It's Karen Osborne in the audience. Karen Osborne. Hey, Karen, how you doing? Hello, Karen. Nice to see you. Welcome to making up. Sit down here and relax. Oh, that's, that's a very nice dress you have. Oh, yes, I like it better every moment I look at it. <laughs> you have a very revealing personality. <laughs> How are you, Karen? Where are you from? Silmar. Silmar. What do you do for a living? Housewife. You're a housewife. That's nice. You have children? One. One. One on the way. One, and one on the way? What month are you in? Third. Third. Well, I spoke <laughs> one. I thought you helped very well. <laughs> when Elaine is... Well, that's right. My wife is like that three months. Now, you have a good reason to win some money, right? You get a dollar a second if you don't laugh, Karen, but you look like you're not going to make it. Am I well, we'll see, all right? All you have to do is turn around and face the comedians. I'm going to say, Lenny Rush, Karen Osborne says, make me laugh. We're off to the races. Yeah. I'm a little achy and sore. I fell off a horse today. It's embarrassing. I was on a merry-go-round. <laughs> You're very nice. You're pale like me. I just got back from Bermuda. I was laying on the beach for a couple of weeks. How you like my tan? <laughs> I'm pale, I know. I once snuck into a Ku Klux Klan meeting without a sheet. <laughs> it's embarrassing to go on the beach for me. I don't have muscles like them guys over there. Closest I ever came to having a muscle, I had the mumps. <laughs> Part of my body is my arteries. I don't like the beach. A dog saw me on the beach one time. He tried to bury me. He thought I was a bone. If I go on the beach, you can spot me. You just look for the vultures. They're circling up and down. So that's all for me. What do you I'll tell you, life's funny, huh? Yeah, but so's a good joke. Okay, try this. Now, shave this out of your face with Master Charge. The other side with Bank AmeriCard. Master Charge. Bank AmeriCard. And now, go out and charge an expensive dinner on one of these. Hey, what do you say we take a look at what's in today's newspaper, huh? No, there is an interesting article here. They just found out that researchers cause cancer in rats. so pretty, you know? Um, you're a pregnant woman, isn't that true? Isn't that they told me? Yeah. How, how many months are you pregnant? Three. Three months. That's very nice. That really is. I don't have any children, you know? What do you think of all these uh, uh, test tube babies, Karen? Isn't that ridiculous? Huh? Having babies in a test tube? 
I don't think that's right. You know, whatever happened to the love and the families, you know? I don't think we should have babies in the test tube. I think we should just continue having babies the good old-fashioned way. By accident. <laughs> You know, I was, uh, I was supposed to go in a hospital uh, recently. I had been feeling when my doctor told me I should go in for an operation, uh, a cachectomy. <laughs> you never heard of that, Karen? A cachectomy. That's when they remove the cash from your wallet. <laughs> a cachectomy, yes. But I didn't go in for, because see, my doctor, it's very weird. See, I heard he operated on one of his other patients, and he left the... <laughs> You got a cute smile, but you didn't laugh, and you got us for $180, all right? For $180. We're going to double it. We're going to give you $360. We're going to thank Karen Osborne for being on Make Me Laugh. <laughs> so it took 15. What's the difference? Okay, it's time to meet our next contestant, all right? Who's been chosen from our studio audience, and that person is... Is Carla Weissman in the house? Hello, Carla. Oh, don't mind these guys. You know, they get locked up in the studio with stuff on them, you know what I mean? How are you, Carla? Where are you from? I just moved here. Oh, I told you from over there. You just moved here? Where did you move from? Washington, D.C. Washington, D.C. I like Washington, D.C., yeah. It's a town looking for a town. It's terrific. What do you do for a living? I'm an occupational therapist. Occupational therapist. Mm -hmm. That isn't easy to say. Yeah. You ready if I make me laugh? Uh -huh. All right. You know how we play? All I got to do is turn you around. Here we go. We say, Bruce Baum. Carla Weissman says, make me laugh. Go get it. So now... I'm going to do a hat and cane number, but tonight I'm going to do it without... Uh, wait a second, stay right there. That's okay. See, the move from Washington was quicker, right? <laughs> hey, listen, $14. I mean, she's still laughing. What are you going to do with the $14? You don't know either. Well, I don't know. Carla Weissman. Let's take a stay right there. Don't move. Time to get our next contestant is... William Hampton in the audience. William, where are you? Nice to see you. Come on, sit down and relax. Nice to see you, William. Can I call you Bill? Well, okay, I'll call you William. You like William? I don't blame you. A lot of people don't like nicknames. You know, regular names. William Hampton. Any relation to Lionel? No. Just thought I'd ask. You never can tell. Okay, what do you do for a living? I'm in uh, the Air Force. Air Force? What are you, are you a pilot or an engineer? Yeah, I work on a B-1 test force at Edwards. Oh, a B-1 test force at Edwards? Yeah. Okay. So you know a lot about bombs. You came to the right show. <laughs> okay. Oh. I have to get one off once in a while. <laughs> Where are you from? i got to ask you that. I'm from uh, Ocala, Florida. Ocala, Florida. Okay, nice to see you. Now, we have one rule, William. All you got to do is turn around and face the comedians. You ready to go? Dollar a second. If you don't laugh, I'm going to say... Bruce Brown, William Hampton says, make me laugh. Go get it. Bill, well, we're taking this construction worker and put two drops of crazy of you on... on <laughs> See all your ears? We've taken this construction worker and put two drops of crazy glue on his helmet and hung him... 20 stories above by this girder just to show you how stupid some construction workers are. <laughs> All right. I'm going to do a little soft shoe tap dance number for you now. <laughs> oh, yeah. But unlike most soft shoe tap dancers, I don't have to rely on gimmicks like taps, <laughs> hardwood floors, or talent. <laughs> dance with these rubber sole shoes on this linoleum stage. Now, if you're familiar with soft shoe and tap dance, you realize this is called a handicap. <laughs> so I think you're going to like it, but who knows? <laughs> That's it, 
Stanley Fiorito. Say hello to William, Stanley. You know, I had to go in for an operation, uh, but I didn't go, William, because my doctor's very strange. I heard that he operated on one of his other patients, and he left a towel inside of him. And he sewed it up. Now any time the poor guy wants to dry his hands, he has to swallow his arms. I'm not going to go to that doctor no more. And what, time, what kind of a doctor performs a vasectomy on the gong show? You know, Stanley, Stanley does not like anyone who doesn't laugh, William. He's got a temper. He really, Stanley, open your mouth. You were laughing, but you're having a good time, weren't you? But you got us for what? $168. That's okay, isn't it? William Hampton. Keep the dog for two more weeks. All right, come here, too. Absolutely contesting. Who is my member of our school audience? It's Larry Daddy from the Coast Guard of Ladies and Us. Adam Rick, he's right there. He'll be out in a minute. Don't go away, please, boy. The other day, the chef for these people said, Hey, Tom, try our pizza mix with its exclusive pizzeria recipe. Pizzeria recipe? Come on. So, I baked it at home. Was I surprised? Sauce and cheese packed with flavor, just like takeout pizza. And this fresh crust, better than some pizzerias I've been to. Chef Boyardee, with this pizzeria recipe, you guys might too. Okay. Chef Boyardee, the takeout pizza you take out of your own oven. Carrie is so very... Different. It doesn't feel like ordinary lotion. It's concentrated. It was specially made for dry, rough skin. Carrie is so very... Rich in emollient. It even made my rough elbows and heels soft again. Carrie. And we're ready for our celebrity contestant, ladies and gentlemen. We'll be playing from a of our studio audience. But you knew all this. I want to tell you who our celebrity is. Don't sneak on like that, John. <laughs> this is a young, young guy you see on Eight is Enough. He's really terrific. And his name is Adam Rich. Let's hear it for him. Did they promise you a booster seat? They didn't deliver it, huh? <laughs> How are you, Adam? Fine. No, I think you're the youngest person I've ever... How old are you, Adam? Ten. Ten years old. And uh, you're on a hit series, eight is enough. How long have you been on the series now? Four years. You mean you started when you were six? Yeah. <laughs> oh, I want to kill myself. <laughs> six years old, that's fantastic. Yeah? You started television I when? I started commercials when I was four years old. Four years old, right? Up to then, you just laid around the house like a dime. <laughs> right? For four years. Didn't make a dime, right? I love your sneakers. They're really nice. Hey, listen, you know how we play the game, don't you, Adam? Yeah. Okay, I know you watch it. Now, all the people in the audience have filled out cards. We've got all the names in the box. If you can reach it, would you get a card out for us? Okay, that's it. Jump right in there. Let's see what we got. Thank you very much, Adam. We have Vincent Marino. Marino. Can I remember you from the picture of the bad seed? <laughs> oh. Now, 
place to see. You good in school? Yeah? I wasn't too good in school. Had a lot of problems. You good in spelling? You don't talk? I'm pretty good. Yeah? I'm not good at that. I had a spelling bee. I got the word FBI one time. I missed it. I couldn't keep up with the other kids. I was too weak. Yeah. In kindergarten, I had to wear a truss to play pickup sticks. <laughs> teachers didn't like me in school. They like you in school, the teachers? Yeah. Yeah? Your teacher's old? Mm -hmm. You're the old teacher? I had an old teacher. Mm -hmm. I had a history teacher who was so old, the globe on the desk was flat. <laughs> They didn't like me in school with teachers. Here comes Anthony Russell. Anthony, Adam. Adam Anthony. Adam, how you doing? You're about the cutest little kid I've ever seen. You know that? You gotta excuse me, though, because I'm really very tired. You know, last night we were working hard and had a couple of drinks. About this time every day, I get very tough. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you look like a, you, 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 you know, I envy you a little bit. You know, you're so young, and I, you obviously have a lot of good friends, and your parents like you, right? Right, Adam? Huh? Yeah. Because I had, yeah? Because I had so many problems. My mother didn't like me, you know? Like, when I was born, you know, I was in a hospital, I had to be put in an incubator. Do you know my mother got up in the middle of the night and turned it up to saute? <laughs> But you're lucky, you know? You have a good relationship with your father? Yeah? But my father never liked me either. I remember I was your age. You're 10 years old, right? All right, Adam, you have one more to go, and that's crazy. Bruce Bell. Bruce! Adam Rich! Hey, Adam, how's it going? Fine. Thought we might as well have a little fun while we're out here, huh? <laughs> Barbecues and marshmallows, relief. You're probably into uh, here, help yourself. You're probably into television now, huh? Well, there's some great new shows coming out next year. A couple slight revivals. They've got the wild and crazy Dennis the Lettuce coming back once again. So we're really get into it. Oh, calm down, Lettuce. Okay. And of course, they're making a series out of uh, Butch Cantaloupe and the Sundance Fig. Have you seen the previews of that? Isn't it? Isn't it odd? What if? What if instead of food, you know? We ate wood, you know what I mean? Our houses would be, out of me be made out of meat, you know? <laughs> would have baloney windows, <laughs> liver drapes, you know? <laughs> Clean the liver out, take it to the cleaners. <laughs> One thing about little kids is they do have bad breath. You want to do that? Okay, Vince, he just wants some super prizes, and John Gilbert's going to tell you what they are. And John. they are super. You're right, Bobby. He won the antique bath faucets, the airway luggage, the wall-away recliner, and the sewing machine. With our congratulations. Great. Thank you. I want to thank you very much for being on Make Me Laugh. Continue success with your series. Let's have a nice hand for Adam Rich, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs>